Hey everyone, how's it going today? We're hooking up the flexi coil sprayer today. Time to spray. Look at those peas. Be time to spray them soon too. Actually, it's getting to be pretty quick to spray them. They're growing like crazy, but it's also drying out like crazy. No moisture there. This is some of our soil here that you can tell when you work it wet, this is what happens to it. Just turns to concrete pebbles. That's why you don't want to work this ground wet. Wet and it's compacted here too because of our trucks and that. Anyway, that's another story. I see one of my booms is falling down. I hope it didn't damage anything. Because they're not supposed to go down. Never has before. Huh. Yeah, that's strange. Anyway, I'll have to put the hydraulics on. Lift it up. Must have a leak now. But for the winter time, I have everything taken apart. All the hoses disconnected. It's all winterized. So that all has to be put back together. Okay, so we got our yard here. I'm just gonna put all the hoses all back on where they properly should go. I have to change this tire because this is a brand new tire, but it's the wrong size that belongs on here. And I had a flat last year, and to be honest, I don't know where I where this tire and rim come from. Uh, have to figure that one out. Well, at least that's a nice tire, too. Brand new. I think it's just a spare, really. But, uh, anyway, I've got the, the proper tire that's supposed to go on there with the brand new tire. I had, uh, had to pump this one up. So it's got a small leak, so I'll probably just end up fixing this one. And, uh, then I'll take all the tips off. Put them in soap and bleach. Make sure their screens are all clean. And then we'll be pretty much ready to go. Put some water in, rinse it out. I always rinse it out. It's rinsed out already, but I always put some water in again to make sure all the nozzles are spraying right. So I bought this uh, 20 volt DeWalt impact gun, half inch. And I have to say, I'm quite impressed. I thought it wouldn't have that much power. I bought it for uh, changing uh, cultivator shovels on the air seeder and uh, you didn't have to worry about dragging a hose around and I gotta say I'm pretty impressed because they'll take these lug nuts right off the lug bolts right off the the, the, the axle no problem no problem I'm just loosening them up here there, I gotta get a jack now but yeah quite impressed There, got the right one on now with the original rim. What size is this one? This is a 12, oops, this is a 12 SL. The other one was 11. So, that needs a little more in my hand. That's good enough.
get my torque wrench, make sure they're torqued down right. They're probably over torqued now. Okay, well, Sean beat me to it. He uh, installed, cleaned, and installed all the screens and nozzles and everything, but we're missing two screens, so I got brand new ones, so that's fine. So, there, that's a bad screen anyway. That's one of those old screens, so I don't mind getting rid of those ones. So we're missing two screens, right, Sean? Oh yeah, I'll find, I'll find you some. All right. Gave him one, and here's the other one. There we go. Okay. So that's done. Time to grease. I replaced a couple uh, bolts here. On these guys here, they were missing. And I had just a little thin one sitting in here. Uh, it's for the windscreens. These windscreens are pretty beat up. Some of them are rusted out. The metal uh, metal frames here, they get uh, they're thin, thin tubing, square tubing, and they rust out for pretty easy. So see, like there, this one's actually totally missing. So I'm gonna have to fab something up here. Anyway, the next thing is to go get water and put the tank on. Put the tank on first and go get water. I usually run two tanks, but since my uh, 450 dually is not here I can only run one one tank right now on the 350 so I don't want to overload so we're gonna go put the tank on the trailer bye Sean's mom bye Sean's mom <laughs> There's one tank. Well, we're gonna have to turn that tank around. There's the second one. Keep going, Sean. Keep going. Okay, whoa. Lift up a bit. Tanks on, strapped down. Sean's strapping it. Wish we had some shorter straps. I think they're all in my truck. All I got is the long ones. But anyway, got the pump set up. That's my own setup here. This uh, plastic hose, and it sure is a pain to get any old fittings off because this is a different pump I'm using. 
and I had to put a male fitting here because there's a female end. Now, will that fit? Yeah, that would fit. These are two 1,000 gallon, well actually they're 1,200 gallon tanks. So I'm not gonna fill both of them. I'm just gonna fill the back one. Probably put a little bit in the front. Uh, it's too heavy with both of them with this F350. So uh, I kind of wish I had a triple axle trailer. I seen one for sale or at an auction sale that just uh, happened this week. It sold for 9,500 bucks. I used one. It's these are two 10,000 pound axles and it had three 10,000 pound axles and actually that'd be perfect. I'd like to get one of those uh, uh, low profile tanks, rectangle ones. They only go about that high and they, uh, I think they're probably around 1,500 gallons. One of those would be good. Easier to handle. Uh, well, not really easier to handle but just uh, one tank is easier to set up instead of these two. And uh, in the future, I'd like to have a, a chem handler set up on the front so you don't have to handle chemicals as much. And it's a lot easier. But since I'm only doing this much, oh, you found a shorter one, Sean? Right on. There. Now we don't have to use that really long one. Still pretty long though, a lot shorter than the other one though. Oh yeah, well, Sean's got that. I don't need this hose here now. I'm just trying to make some ends fit on here, but it didn't work. Well, we're at the water plant. This is the town's water plant. And uh, this is where I get all my spraying water from. So I just pumped 10 bucks in there and that should give me a half a tank. So it costs about $22 per tank. So it's about 40 some, $44 or so, 45 bucks let's say, for uh, both 1,200 gallon tanks. Which is actually double. In the last 10 years it's double. It used to cost uh, $1 per 100 gallons. I remember I came here with my little 300 gallon tank and filled it up with three bucks. Now it's double that, so you need, you need at least six bucks to fill a 300 gallon tank. So it's kind of crazy. This is the highest water around. Uh, all the other uh, small towns are cheaper. I don't know by how much, but I know they are cheaper. So it's got a three inch uh, hose. And it, uh, it pumps pretty fast. It takes me about, I don't know, 15 minutes to fill, 10 minutes. Depends how much uh, coinage I pump in there. I don't like to pump too much in case it steals at all. Uh, there are some plants that will uh, take tokens. So you just go to the town office and buy tokens and then pump, be pumping in that way. That way they some places are like that, so not just anybody can go get water. You have to be a resident of the area. So, uh, yeah, because some places only have a limited amount of water. So, but everybody comes and gets water from here. So, I know I'm not the only one. Some people are even driving their sprayers here, but that's kind of not recommended. You're supposed to bring your water tanks here. Yeah, there it stopped. Ten bucks worth. There, I got my toonies. These are two dollar coins. And then I got my dollar coins, which are loonies for our non American friends. So I put eight bucks in there, that should almost get her to the top. I don't want it super full. Then I'm just going to put, I don't know, not quite half, maybe half, I don't know. But until I get my uh, F450 back, I'm not going to fill the front tank too much. Well, after some trouble trying to prime the pump, we got it free. 
got the booms on. And they're all spraying. I got a couple tips that are bad. That one right there. These are all coarse tips. But yeah, hunter plug. Just gonna change a couple tips. But yeah, that's the flexi coil. 55 sprayer. It's a 70 foot, so it's not bad. It works for us. If we had a few more acres, well then I'd be looking for a different sprayer, right, Sean? What size of sprayer would you get? 80? 100? Well then you can, you can run that 100 foot sprayer, all, all water. All right, so that's all for today. Uh, I might try and go spray canola tonight, I don't know yet. Maybe tomorrow morning. But I'm gonna let this all rinse out. It's just water right now. And a mixture of, of uh, ammonia. So it's just doing another rinse out again. All right, thanks for watching. Leave your comments down below and I'll try and answer them. And quick like for the video. Talk to y'all later.